touch the ground And everybody wants to know how Brick by brick, I put them in the ground What's up guys? Exciting, exciting, exciting. Um, this process started a year ago. A long, long year ago. When the brand first started out, we would print on whatever blanks we could get. So you know, we would buy American Apparel, we would buy just blank shirts. And then you print the blank shirts and that was our staple was the fact that we were actually hand printing them. The fact that we were the ones controlling the print. And about a year ago, we finally got up and we have enough buying power where we're, we were able to skip over the distributors and go straight to the mills. Now this is exciting because in the last two years we took this from a brand that was struggling out of my garage and now we're directly in contact with mills. What does this mean? This means we can make our own clothing. This is something that a lot of brands cannot do because they're too small. Um, or they're too big and they just mass produce shit and they get it all printed and, and it just comes out packaged and they get it. The beautiful thing is now we don't need to print on blanks. Now we can make our own t-shirts. We can make our own tank tops. So a year ago we decided, hey, we want to do this. The first step was picking out the, our own fabric. I wanted our own fabric for the v-necks, for the t-shirts, and for the tank tops. I want the same exact fabric for each one, so when you buy a Fly Never Fail V-neck t-shirt or tank top, you know exactly what it's going to feel like. I also wanted the best fabric we can get. So I knew I didn't want a moisture wicking or anything too sporty, but I also didn't know I, I, I wanted a, a cotton that would shrink too much, so we got a nice blend. Um, it's an Egyptian cotton blend, it's extremely soft, it was definitely on the higher end of the price scale for us. So, I'll be honest with you guys, we're making a lot less per shirt, but I don't fucking care. I like the shirt more. So from that, we need to get patterns. We got the pattern for the v-neck, the pattern for the t-shirt, and the pattern for the tank top. Over the last 12 months, every month, samples would show up. We would tweak our samples, get them closer and closer and closer. You know, we would all try them on. We'd have some friends try them on. And a shirt. So we just got, we started working with a new mill and we, we've been tweaking these products forever. Um, hold on. So here's our table of samples. Um, we're getting, we're getting all this new shit made with new fabrics and everything. So, um, as everybody knows, our tank tops have been okay. The cut has been, um, I haven't been thrilled about the cut of the tanks. The ones we're using right now got a little bit better, but these are our first samples of the new flag nerf. Do you want to wear extra small or small? Extra. So this is Dana putting on an extra small. These, these ones, the cut we made, we made the arm holes a little bit bigger. These are fucking night and day better. We both look like we just rolled out of bed. I did just sort of... Well, what do I need to get fucking dressed for? Give me a thumbs up, please. I like it. The cuts, they don't feel as tight. I'm also losing weight. But... No, they don't look okay. I mean, this is... If I bought a tank top, this is what I'd want. So... Here's extra large on... Extra large is a little tight. Like, I, I wouldn't train an XL. We need 2X. That's look, Drew. Feels a lot better. 3X. Ooh, I'd be wearing it. So this is a 3X. And finally, we're to the point in time where we're 
totally happy with the product. Uh, in the video right now, you see Dana wearing um, our white V, uh, which I think is beautiful. She's wearing an extra small. Um, and you'll also notice there's nothing printed on this other than the sleeve. So what I realized was there's a lot of occasions where we're sort of releasing something new here. Being now that we're creating our own shirts, it's our own pattern, it's our own fabric, the V-necks feel so good that I want to wear them everywhere. And there's always some occasion where I can't wear a V-neck out that says kill on it or it talks about burying the dead. So you want to wear maybe just a casual white V-neck or a casual black V-neck. That's where we came out with the concept of the Flagner Fail White V, the Flagner Fail Black V. Um, they are going up now on the site. We're going to see how they sell. Uh, we did hand print on the sleeve. Um, I mean, I love it. I love it. I, it's a nice, light material. Um, I mean, once again, it's been a year in the making, and it's, it's ours. No one else is going to fit like this. We tried to fit it as true as possible so that it's not going to be like a surprise shirt where you buy a medium and it fits like a small or anything like that, so it's all size true. Um, I wear a 2X, Dana wears a small, or extra, extra small. Uh, my brother fits in a extra large. We're all the same sizing as what we've been selling. It's just a nicer quality product. And that's really what we're trying to do with everything now is now that we have a little bit more buying power, we're still keeping quantities small, but we're spending more money on the actual product and making sure that when you get it, I want to blow everybody else out of the water. I want, to, I, want to, I want you to get a V-neck from us and I want you to think, holy shit, why is this V-neck so nice? I only want to wear this V-neck for the rest of my life. So that's the plan, and uh, it's always been a dream of mine. And as we grow, we're gonna try harder and harder to come out with more innovative products, you know, duffel bags, things like that, where we're working directly with the mill and it's our pattern. We're not printing on bullshit blanks like all these other brands. We're, not only are we hand printing, which sets us apart, but we're also, you know, we're in charge of the patterns, and we're, so I, I just wanna be in charge of fucking everything that comes out of here, because I know that we take more pride in our product than someone else would. So the more control we can get over everything, I think the better product we'll get. If you